Do you like Italian food? Most of us do. However, if you like really, really, really good Italian food, I've got somebody here for you. The proprietor, proprietress of Dominic's Bistro Italiano, Deb Acchiato. Deb, welcome to the show. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. Have you... You, you have the restaurant open right now. It starts. It opens at 3 p.m. on Saturdays, yes, right? Yes, 3 p.m. on Saturdays. But you open for lunch weekdays. Monday through Friday, lunch at 11 a.m. Yeah. Dinner yeah. until 8 p.m. And I've had people tell me about Dominic's for a while. My co-producer is a regular customer of yours. She's the one who first sicked me on you guys, by the way. But Diamond Jim's also did. He wanted to have other people from the promenade that we all co-promoted each other. And so that was important. Tell us about Deb. Now, as I recall, you're not an Arizona native, but you've been here close to forever. Is that right? Yes, 1962. Okay. So you must have... That, you, are you sure you weren't born here? Nope. <laughs> Sorry, I'm Irish. I can't help but do that stuff. Yeah. Now, although my, my late wife was 100% Italian from New Jersey, so she kind of even made me worse. So 1962, and if I remember correctly, you told me that you have a family history in the restaurant business. In the restaurant business, yeah. Okay. So what are some of the, are some of those restaurants still around? No. We're, I'm originally from Buffalo, New York, upstate New York, and my dad had restaurants there, and we moved here when I was 13. And I went to school and graduated here and helped my dad and my mom with their businesses most of my life. And um, 11 years ago, opened up uh, Dominic's Bistro over here in Sun City. Okay. Now, you know, it's easy to open up a restaurant. It's also easy to get a restaurant that shuts down really fast. I believe. I read statistics at one point where the restaurant business is both the easiest to get into and the easiest to, to fail in. And But there is a, a local restaurateur. I don't know him, but I got this quote from the president of the Arizona Restaurant Association. You know, it's not a restaurant. It's a restaurant business. And the ones who fail don't remember they're in business. Now, these were Italian restaurants in New York, right? We had some in New York, but we had, in 1962, my dad opened his first restaurant here. And it was Italian as it well? It was Italian. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to make sure, mm -hmm. Christina's wanting me to make sure that I get as much information about you as possible. Now, why Dominic's? <laughs> why would people come to Dominic's as opposed to any other Italian restaurant? Well, our food is really good. Um, our wait staff is very friendly. It's just we work it every day. We're hands-on business people. We're there every day. We don't have anybody managing our store. We manage our own store. Um, this is your we baby. Cook, we cook. We cook everything fresh daily. Excellent. Just fresh daily. Okay. Now, I think what Christina was trying to get at with that one question was. You know, why come to Dominic's? But, you know, it's easy. I mentioned this to you earlier. It's easy for people who are running an, an Italian or a French or other European style business to throw around, around the word bistro. And it's really not. But you actually have a bistro italiano, right? I mean, yes. You've actually got not only entertainment, but you've got entertainment that you're rather familiar with. Yes. Tell us about Dominic. Okay. Dominic is my husband, and he is, he plays keyboards and accordion, and he's been in the music industry since he was about 12 years old. And he performs on Wednesday night, and Friday and Saturday night he performs with his friend, Jesus, and they do a duo, a duo and Friday at 8 p.m. until about 11 and we just have music, dancing, dinner, cocktails, and it's great. It's great. Excellent. So, I remember as a kid, 
in summer when I'd be at home and my mom would be watching the soap operas and some of the characters would have their restaurant or lounge and the, the owner would be in a tux and he'd be coming out and he'd be singing some songs and it's like, yeah, that's not the real world. But this is the real world for Dominic Spistro Italiano, isn't it? Yeah. 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 That's fascinating. That that that's back east. Okay. Yeah. That's that's you know, upstate right there. And you know, you said you were from Buffalo, I think I told you I spent a year in Rochester. Two winters in one year. You don't want to go there, folks. You just don't. Okay. But my youngest daughter was actually born in Racha Cha, as we call oh. it. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got a I've I've got a daughter from Rochester. I've got a daughter that was born in Baltimore, and I've got a daughter that was born in San Francisco. So, tell us about, what, what's your number one meal? We have everything on the menu from um, appetizers to salads, uh, all no, the spaghetti I, I, I dishes. Wasn't clear. I wasn't clear, I'm sorry. What's your most ordered meal? Lasagna. Lasagna? Lasagna is, is really big. We also, we, everything though, I've got to tell you, there isn't really one particular dish that outsells the other. They all move. They are all delicious, uh, fresh, and um, we cook everything from scratch. And it's just everything, everything, we have pizza, and it's delicious. Well, that, that prep, that's why Dominic told me when the first time he told me to call him back. He said, call me back tomorrow morning. I'm here from 8 to 1. So you guys open at 11 on weekdays for lunch. Yes. But you're in there getting things ready from at least, at, at the latest, 8 o'clock in the morning. 8 a.m., yes. Okay, because that's how you get, make it all fresh. Yes. Tell us about a typical day from start to finish. 8 a.m., we get there and we start all our prep and everything is done and also our salads i got to talk about this we do not cut our salads the night before or early in the morning for the whole day we are cleaning lettuce and cutting lettuce all day long our salads are crisp fresh we use mixed greens everything is freshly prepared throughout the day okay and the same thing with the various other parts of Sauces, meals, right? everything are done every day. Pizza dough fresh every morning, yes. And, and you're, you're making it as you go along? Yes, and we have a private baker that bakes our bread. We have delicious bread. It is crusty and warm, and everybody gets bread. Excellent. So And, so, and you just do that repeatedly through the day? Because, Throughout the day. Yeah. Soups are homemade. Salad dressings are homemade. Sauces are homemade. Everything is homemade. Meatballs, everything. So at you know, 9 p.m., you're not ordering this morning's soup, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I, so all day it goes. Different people have different definitions of fresh. All yeah. day. We're cooking all day. Of course, I, I went to the grocery store not long ago, and I was looking at a bagged salad, because I'm a guy. You know, I bagged salad when I'm going to be cooking for myself. That's just fine. But it said it was a vegetable blend. And I'm thinking, it's a salad. Why wouldn't it be a vegetable blend? But you take freshness to a whole different level. A whole different level. Okay. I, I got to tell you this story. The last time I talked to Dominic, after he told me that you, know, you guys were going to be on the show, I, I had to practice three times saying your last name. Ochiato. Oh, oh, it's Ochiato. Okay. Ochiato. I, I, I had to practice that because, and I still got it wrong, but I had to practice it because the first couple times I said it out loud, my wife and I visited Rome, visited Italy in 2000, and one night we were out for dinner and we had a brand new pasta we'd never seen before called Orecchietta. Had never seen it anywhere. She had never seen it. My New Jersey Italian had never seen it. So the first couple times I said your last name, I kept saying Orecchietta, and I had to actually train myself. What kind of specials do you have? Every day there's a different special. On Mondays we have um, veal. We, it's, our, it's our Monday night special. We do veal parmesan, veal piccata, veal frances. I love veal piccata. And it's, it's, it's cut fresh that day okay. and prepped that day. And Tuesday special? Tuesdays, 
through Friday, we run a different dinner special every night. And every day we have a salad, hot bread, and all-you-can-eat soup for $7 for lunch. Okay. Now, Dominic's does have a website, right? Yeah. Okay. And it is? Dominic'sBistro.com. Dominic's Bistro. See, I would have thrown in the, the Italiano. Nope. See, that's why I have people say their own website. And are you on Facebook? No. You're not. Are you on any social media? No. You're not. Okay. So, that's unusual these days, but I can it, it does set you apart yet again. It's what one of those things that makes Dominic Spistro Italiano different. Yes, we're okay. a neighborhood place. And the address is 1001 West Bell Road, 10001 West Bell Road, mm -hmm. and the suite number is 153. 153, and that's in the promenade. That's in Sun City. And your phone number is 623 uh -oh. <laughs> 623-583-8565. 623-583-8565. Yes. I remembered that for that long. Yes. <laughs> it's hard when you have cell phones. It, it is. We press you, buttons now, just a button to it. You, you don't have to memorize anything no. anymore. You know? And and so like you, you let the I forgot what it's called. Oh yeah, the phone. <laughs> you don't have to remember anything anymore. Right. Yeah. That's what makes life most as, as entertaining as it can be, and as also as much of a pain as it can be. So, Christina, is there anything else that I have missed with them? Um, you have dancing, right? We have dancing, 8 p.m. Friday and Saturday night. All right, perfect. Okay. So, live music, dancing, well, live singers, dancing, and Fresh specials every single day, 623-583-8565. Mm -hmm. Wow, I did it again. <laughs>